How's it going, everybody? My name is Michael. I'm from theloftestparty.com. Thanks for checking out the channel. Have you ever had something happen in your life that was just so outrageous, so completely bizarre, you honestly couldn't believe it just happened? You're like, there is, there is no way I just saw that. Well, that's where I am right now and where I believe you're about to be. I just read this article in Time Magazine. Yes, yes, Time Magazine. They have, they have this article, The Secret History of the Shadow Campaign That Saved the 2020 Election. Now, I'm a comedian. I talk a lot about politics. And when I see a headline like that, ooh, The Secret History of the Shadow Campaign, ooh, I am clicking on it. And that's when it got weird. Buckle up. I had, to, I had to print out some of the quotes because I don't want to get them wrong. You, you guys should all read this article. So here's one that, that leapt out at me. Okay, that's why all the participants want the secret history of the 2020 election told. Even though it sounds like a paranoid fever dream, a well-funded cabal of powerful people. Er, what? Well-funded cabal? Well, what is it? What's a, what's a cabal? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a, a secret political clique or faction. Ooh, a secret. Ooh, it's a secret clique. Okay, let's get back to our quote, just knowing what a cabal is. Well, this well-funded cabal of powerful people ranging across industries and ideologies, working together behind the scenes. Of course you would. You work behind the scenes. You're a secret political clique. Secret, secret behind the scenes. That's where they're working and they're they're, they're working behind the scenes to influence perceptions, change rules and laws. What the Sam Hill? Changing rules and laws? Steer media coverage and control the flow of information. What in the actual F? But guess what? Oh, they were not rigging the election. They were fortifying it. Oh, thanks. That clears it up. Because for a second there, I was worried. When you were talking about uh, the well-funded well cabal, you know, the secret group, when you were talking about them and, and how they were working together behind the scenes to influence perception, change the rules and the laws, and steer media coverage and control the flow of information, I thought, well, you know what? I bet they're rigging it. No, they were fortifying it. Come on, you guys. That's how you fortify an election. You work behind the scenes with a well-funded cabal. Their work touched every aspect of the election. They got states to change voting systems and laws and helped secure hundreds of millions in public and private funding. Oh, thanks for fortifying the election. For a second there, I thought it was going to look shady, but no. The, the well-funded cabal working behind the scenes to, 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 steer, to steer media coverage and control the flow of information and changing rules and changing law. They were fortifying the election. Rest easy, America. This one needed to be fortified. I know we've been having elections for a long time, and Lord knows they just kind of shook out. One guy won, one guy lost. But this one had to be fortified. Call me old-fashioned, don't you ever fortify another election. I prefer things the old-fashioned way. I'm pretty sure the Founding Fathers weren't like, ooh, freedom of speech, mm-hmm, freedom of religion, yeah. People should probably have a right to bear arms. Well, but every once in a while, we should fortify an election with a cabal that works behind the scenes. No thank you. Listen, if it's a square-up fight, and, and, and somebody wins and somebody loses, that's how it shakes out. Them's the apples. But when you have a fortified election, no, we, we will not thrive as a democratic republic with fortified elections. And then the audacity to brag about it. Here's how we did it, everybody. Here's how we did it. Don't do it again. Them are not the apples.